The summer finale of Pretty Little Liars has come to an end and we officially have all the answers with a capital A, but of course, we have got even more questions. The big reveal is something we have been waiting all summer for, but the A moment we got on last night's episode was not what we were expecting. And just an FYI, if you haven't tuned into the finale or gotten word from the entire social media sphere, you may want to put this on pause for a quick sec and go catch up first. But now I will do the honors and I'm happy but also kind of sad to inform you that A has officially been named, drum roll please, Cece Drake, AKA Charlotte, AKA Charles, AKA Allison's brother. And as you can expect, our reaction went a little something like, what? So technically producers weren't lying when they deemed Charles as A in the last season finale, but as it turns out through the years that Charles was away from his family, he eventually transitioned into Charlotte, who then went by Cece. Now I am going to do you all a solid and give you the condensed clip notes version because the first time I wrote this, it was like 10 pages long and I just wanted to crawl into a super tiny hole. So here goes. We see the liars leave prom where they end up in a really creepy secret forest back room only to find Mona. Allison woke up in a cell at Radley where she saw her father and her brother on the floor. They looked like they were dead. Meanwhile, Mona determines that a cell phone signal is coming from Radley. The gang head to Radley where they come across a secret lair that looked all like gizmo-y and technologically savvy way over our heads. Sketchy Sarah stayed behind and then left the girls inside said lair. Then, no big deal, they watched a holographic screen where Allie and A were conversing and as a hooded A turned around to reveal her identity, also claiming that her father and brother were not dead, just drugged. Huh. And here is where A slash CC slash Charlotte slash Charles explains why she's done everything in her power to be close to her family again, but may have taken things just like a little too far throughout the past six years. So, as a child named Charles, he would treat Allie like a doll, where we then see a flashback of Charles trying to give Allie a bath to calm her down, but he drops her, only to be found by Mr. D, who was already not a fan of his son, wanting to be his second daughter. So Mr. D sees this accident as a perfect opportunity to stick Charles and Radley. There, he meets Bethany, remember Bethany? But that friendship lasted a hot sec after Bethany pushed Toby's mom off the balcony, blaming it on Charles. Mrs. D continued to visit Charles, who began turning into Charlotte and would bring her dresses and even went above and beyond to host the old Charles' a funeral, which makes sense seeing that everyone thought he was dead. Charlotte then started taking college classes where she went by the name Cece, started dating Jason, AKA her own blood brother, so weird, but not sleeping with him because that would just be too weird. She then became friends with Allison and the mission was accomplished. <laughs> yeah, right. Cece then befriends Mona, who she manipulates, gets her to torture the girls because Mona told Cece that the girls were happy that Allison was dead. They even got help from Redcoat wearing Sarah, AKA the backstabbiest character in the entire series. Meanwhile, back at the lair, Redcoat Sarah set up a bomb to blow up at Radley. Luckily, Spencer somehow managed to disarm it before Cece could press the button only for nothing to happen. She ran onto the roof of the building and was about to jump when the liars begged her not to do it. She tossed in the towel because it was either that or take a plunge to her death and game over. Game's actually never over because we have more questions. So we then jump forward a few months where Allie and the girls are saying their goodbyes before they head off to college. Then we jump five years forward where Allie is seemingly married, she's a teacher, and we see something she writes on the chalkboard, it's Mrs. Something Something. And then the episode ends with this gem of a cliffhanger. He's coming for you. I'm sorry, what is going on? Who is this mystery he they're referring to? You mean we have to tune in to the next premiere? My heart cannot take this drama anymore, you guys. I'm not feeling stable, but like I said, I'm just happy that A was revealed. But while we're on that note, I do have some questions because duh, are you guys ready for this? So here we go, some questions. 
What happened to drugged out Jason and Mr. D? What happened to sketchy Sarah? Did Cece end up going to jail? Who killed Mrs. D? Are the wine drinking moms still locked in the basement? Why does Sarah get two cool outfits? Not okay. Is Mona still trapped in the techie lair? Where did Cece get the carpentry skills to build an entire dollhouse? And finally, where can a girl get those rad freaking hills that Mona wore that also served as weaponry? I love those. Okay. So now I'm officially tossing in the towel and I'm gonna get out of here before I lose my cool even more. But I wanna know what your reaction was to the big A reveal. And if you wanna try and help a sister out with any of these questions, let me know all your predictions for the fall premiere. Thankfully, we have a small break from the madness. Actually, not thankful. I wish it was airing tonight. But go ahead and start a conversation right down here in the comment section. After that, click right over here to check out five trends from the 90s that are super cool now. And yes, that does include my personal fave overalls. Don't hate people, appreciate. Thanks so much for helping me completely overstay my welcome here on Clever News. I love you guys. I'm your host, Jocelyn Davis, and goodbye for now. And get all pretty like our favorite liars with a peel off face mask tutorial to the left. And click to the right to see us try out a few weird mascaras.